There are allegations of a cover-up involving a sex scandal investigation that was clearly embarrassing to the Spalding County Sheriff's Department. Sheriff Wendell Beam tells the Fox 5 I team he didn't try to hide anything or ignore complaints about a top deputy's outrageous behavior. Fox 5 I team reporter Randy Travis says there are questions about who tried to stop the report from going public. Randy? That's right, Lisa and Russ. This all started with former Captain David Gibson, now under indictment for multiple sex charges involving female sheriff's office personnel. Now, some of what you're going to hear in the story is graphic. Why are you so interested in this issue? I, I just don't like people lying to me. Will Sanders is a Griffin truck driver, son of a former state lawmaker, and pain in the side of the Spalding County Sheriff's Department. Do you think the sheriff knew about this and didn't do anything about it? Absolutely. Sanders is talking about a sex scandal that is still shaking this community. Longtime Sheriff's Department Captain David Gibson was indicted earlier this month on multiple sex and battery charges, including forcing a female deputy to watch him perform a sex act. The criminal case stems from this internal affairs investigation conducted by an outside agency. It was closed earlier this summer. And so this was the only thing that was in his file? Yes. But when Sanders tried to get a copy of the investigative file under the Open Records Act, the Sheriff's Secretary, Ruby King, sued to block him. A judge granted her a temporary restraining order. As Sanders would later discover, her attempt to stop him is raising even more questions. I knew there was more to the story than just him not wanting to release the records. Two weeks after the judge blocked him, Sanders made the same open records request to the Spalding County Board of Commissioners. They gave him the Gibson file. In it, investigators list multiple complaints from female deputies. Captain Gibson exposed his penis to one deputy, sent graphic photos to another deputy, and urged subordinates to have sex with him. Gibson admitted watching pornography on his office VCR and various websites. The allegations in the report go back years. Do you think that's why they didn't want you to have these documents? Absolutely. There is reference over and over inside the documents referring to Wendell Beam knowing about what was going on and he took no action. Somebody might tell me something, but they would not come forth and support it. It would be rumors at that point. Yet the internal affairs report lists several employees who say they complained to the sheriff about bad behavior on the part of his captain, but because they would not write down their complaints, Sheriff Beam told me there wasn't much he thought he could do. They didn't want to pursue it, and I don't know why. Could it be that they were worried they wouldn't get a fair shake in a department that had a guy in it for years, perhaps doing this sort of stuff? Uh, you're asking me to speak to someone else, respond to someone else, and I couldn't do that, sir. But even though Will Sanders finally got Captain Gibson's internal affairs file, the fight he had to go through to get it still bothered him. So he filed another open records request, this time for phone records. Turns out every phone call that goes into this building is recorded. Somebody has got to be the person that, that's complaining that it's going to be released. The recordings reveal local attorney Johnny Caldwell offering to file a lawsuit to block Sanders from getting the Gibson file and making it public. The sheriff's secretary, Ruby King, agrees with the strategy, worried the victim's names would get out. He's the type that will post it on Facebook, and I thought that wouldn't be good. Ms. King had earlier told investigators Gibson did not really direct sexual comments her way because she worked directly for the sheriff. But when none of Gibson's alleged victims would agree to block the open records request, the sheriff's secretary put herself on the lawsuit, swearing that Gibson had made sexually explicit statements to her. She later informs the sheriff. He said, no, I only need one of you, and I said, well, use me. Okay. Uh, so how quick does he think it's going to happen? Do you think she misrepresented her true victim status in this case? I don't think she did. And again, I'll go back to the fact that what she told me that she was present when some sexual comments were made. But the sheriff denies playing any role in keeping such a damning report from coming to light. I'm open with people. I'm not trying to hide anything. I don't, I, I hate it that people, some people are thinking that I'm doing that. The sheriff is the leader. He's the one you go to when something's wrong. He, he's supposed to stop this. He should have stopped it years ago. We've posted the complete audio recordings of the sheriff's secretary discussing how to block the release of the internal affairs files. You can find that on our website, fox5atlanta.com. And Lisa and Russ, some of the women in the sheriff's department have already notified the county they're going to sue wow. over this. Well, did Sanders put any of this on Facebook? No. Even though the sheriff's secretary was worried that he might,
He never did. All he says he wanted to do was to read it, and that was his right to do that. It should have been a public document and released within three days of him asking for it, and it wasn't. Well, we know you'll stay mm -hmm. on top of this one. Randy, thanks. Okay.